Hi, welcome to Fire Engineering's Training Minutes. I'm Mark Gregory, along with Phil Higgins. Today we're gonna to talk about some non-invasive ways in which we can remove a ring off a person's finger. Phil? So, so let's, just, let's just think about a person walking into a firehouse right now, and they have a ring stuck on their finger for whatever reason. Maybe they struck their hand last week, maybe they got bit or stung by something, or something, you know, an allergic reaction. They come to the firehouse, and what are we doing? We're gonna bring them to the most comfortable room in the, in, that there is, probably the kitchen. Why? Would you like a cup of coffee, a glass of water? Try and relax them somewhat. At the same time, we're gonna figure out, hey, how long the ring been stuck on the finger? Has it been a week? Has it been a couple days? And on a scale of one to 10, 10 being the worst pain you've ever felt, how does it feel right now? Is it really that painful as I'm pushing down? At that time, I'm gonna ask Mark, Mark, you know that large salad bowl that we, we, we use for dinner? Can you fill it up with some ice and some water? Why? Because we're gonna numb the finger and perhaps reduce some of the swelling. What else, what else is in the kitchen? Well, hopefully some natural lubrication, some dish soap, maybe vegetable oil. At this time, I'm gonna put some lubrication on the ring and hopefully get the the lubrication between the ring and the finger and just you know what they're not in any pain right now because we've numbed it it's not a true medical right now I'm not in any pain but I'm gonna go back and forth and it might take a little while but over time oh it's right at the knuckle that's where I'm gonna feel the most pain and in a couple seconds it's gonna come off no issue at all however if that doesn't work we have a couple other things that we can use all right we have a rubber band I'm gonna try and get this rubber band between the ring and the finger. I could use a pen cap, a zip tie, I could use a, a dipstick, something in our machinery bag that's already with us. I've had pretty good success using a coffee stirrer. Uh, plastic coffee stirrers work well. Again, gives you that room underneath that you can slide the rubber band in. And just like that, it's through. Now, I'm gonna take one side of it and I'm gonna go back and forth with the lubrication. Again, this rubber band's gonna work very well. And putting a little tension towards the tip of the finger, I'm gonna go back and forth, back and forth. Every so often I could ask him to turn his hand over and right here is, the, is right at the knuckle. And go back over once again and voila, it comes off. Now, plan A, plan B. Now what do we do if plan A and B doesn't work? Well, first and foremost, who carries a rubber band on their apparatus? Who has rubber bands right and readily available? However, every engine, every ambulance most likely has a non-rebreather. What we have today is elastic strap coming from a N95 or P100. The same thing, I'm gonna get this underneath the ring using one of these zip, zip ties or a pen. There we go. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna corkscrew, if you will, I'm gonna wrap the finger, wrap this cord around the finger numerous times and applying force on it. When it gets to the end, I'm gonna tie it off. And I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna wrap it around going in the reverse order. And as you see, it's moving towards the tip and over the knuckle, it comes. Plan A, B, and C works very effectively. One thing to think about too, when you do the wrapping, as you saw Phil wrapped from the base of the hand to the tip of the finger, sometimes if the person is in discomfort, the swelling up here will be a problem for them. Another option that you have is you can always start wrapping from the tip of the finger and work your way back. It'll push some of the swelling back into the hand, provide the victim with a little more comfort. So to wrap things up, Pretty much a penny's worth of materials could be very effective at your station on the emergency scene in order to remove a ring from a finger. Whether we're using a rubber band, zip tie, or the strap from a, a non-rebreather or N95 type mask, we can remove a ring. Also using natural lubricant, using the soap, will help us in aiding the victim and keeping them nice and comfortable during the removal process. I'd like to thank you for watching Fire Engineering Training Minutes. My name is Mark Gregory, along with Phil Higgins.